The countdown to the opening of Hong Kong's newest mall came not a moment too soon for this eager crowd. Located in the heart of Hong Kong's retail mecca, Causeway Bay, Haisan Place provides a 17-floor shopping experience with 120 stores featuring some of the world's best-known brands. The mall also opens doors for mid-tier labels, including trendy brands from Japan, to launch them in the lucrative Hong Kong market. We've seen that Hong Kong, yes, is number one for luxury retail, but we haven't seen so many mid-level retailers here. Uh, what House and Place does is it offers these retailers across a broad spectrum of retail an opportunity to come into the market. One of the most widely anticipated launch is Taiwan's Eslit Bookstore. The grand opening of Eslit's first outlet outside Taiwan drew hordes of shoppers keen to be among the first to set foot in the iconic bookstore. At 41,000 square feet and taking up three floors, the outlet is the company's second largest. It features English and Chinese books, as well as high-end stationary products, along with an exhibition space and events venue. As Leet says, its first overseas venture in Hong Kong will serve as a reference for future openings, including an outlet on the Chinese mainland planned for 2014. Hai San Place joins several leading shopping destinations already in Hong Kong, reinforcing its reputation as Asia's top retail city. Hong Kong hosts more than 40% of the world's retail brands, according to commercial real estate services firm CBRE. There are things in Hong Kong uh, that we don't see anywhere else. And, you know, just look at, for example, in terms of, of pricing. Yes, Hong Kong is more expensive, but it's more expensive for a reason, uh, because the retailers make money here. It's also the gateway to China. Um, a lot of retailers, they come here to Hong Kong because they want to establish a flagship store. Um, they get the mainland Chinese customers coming here. In, indeed, some retailers will establish a store here and they will test products. It's mainland Chinese demand is more focused on the luxury end, but I wouldn't say exclusively so. Um, and let's not forget that there is also significant local demand here in Hong Kong. So I think the consumer here is looking for something new, looking for something exciting. It's a demand that's continually being met by Hong Kong retailers on the cutting edge of the latest shopping concepts.